Hello, this is Attorney Brown Pentagraph with the Pentagraph Firm, and I just thought I would uh, shoot a quick video to show you the easiest way to tell how an attorney actually gets results in Maryland using uh, Maryland Judiciary Case Search. So what you have to do is, uh, you see we're here in Google, so you want to type in Maryland Judiciary Case Search, and then you want to click on the first link. Then you want to click, uh, let's say, uh, you want to agree to the terms and conditions and click continue. All right, so you want to type in the name of your prospective attorney. So I use mine. I'll type in Brian Pendergraph. And then for party type, you want to select attorney. And then hit search. And now you can see a, uh, a, a lot of the cases that your uh, <laughs> A prospective attorney has participated in. As you can see, mine is a, uh, let's see, let's go to the last page. How many pages long this is? So it's the 145 items were found and, uh, you know, there's six pages on here. So um, that's a lot. But that being said, you know, the the thing about case search is that not every case necessarily appears in case search. For example, most of my caseload has actually been failure to pay rent actions and failure to pay rent actions are not on, um, are not shown on uh, Maryland Judiciary case search in most jurisdictions. Um, I believe that may change in the future, but as of now, you know, you're generally not going to see many failure parent actions. I think some jurisdictions do upload failure parent actions, but where I primarily practice in Prince George's County, Montgomery County, and Baltimore City, they are not uploading failure parent actions. But everything else that uh, uh, I've done, for the most part, has been uploaded. So, um, uh, what I like to do is I like to let me go back to the. Uh, to the first page here. I'm, I'm going to sort by, um, uh, let's say there's different ways you can sort. So I like to sort by, well, one of the things that you can do is you can sort by a case type. That's to see what kind of cases that your uh, uh, prospective attorney actually primarily handles. So you can see, uh, for, for me, it's actually mostly, um, well, what you find mostly here is actually, uh, uh, but we'd look at the well, first look at the case types actually. So you can see uh, lots of lots of quite a few civil cases here. But um, all right, next page, and then you see uh, case type. See lots of uh, some contract cases, some family law stuff. That that was back in the day. I don't do family law anymore, but you won't see too many. But you'll see you'll really see what I really do right here. This F O R C, which is that's actually the code for um. Uh, for uh, wrongful detainer actions, actually wrongful detainer actions. But you'll see the next few pages is actually straight up like I got maybe two, three more pages of here of straight wrongful detainer actions. So, um, so you can see what I uh, again mostly do uh, on here. So you see I do lots of lots of wrongful detainer actions, some some Rentescrow stuff here, and I think what you'll see next is mostly uh, after that is mostly tenant holding over actions. I got a few pages of tenant holding over actions. Again, I do lots of a uh, um, evictions myself. So you're going to have to know what to look for, I guess, with each attorney. So for example, let's say if you're in the market for an attorney that primarily does, let's say evictions like myself or evictions or foreclosures, what you want to do is you want, what you're looking for is, um, uh, a warrant of uh, restitution essentially in favor of the of the of the plaintiff like that's that's what you're looking for now uh what you're looking for is you know different based on the kind of uh you know attorney you're looking for so if uh let's say you're looking for a criminal attorney you want to see um uh you know maybe you want to see lots of dispositions dispositions that say uh uh very serious charges were re reduced to a uh to a step maybe or as the, as the outcome, or maybe you want to see um, just not guilty verdicts, you know, that, that would be great too. But in my case, what you're looking for is a, uh, what you're looking for is a warrant restitution or and possession issued in favor of the uh, plaintiff. So I'm going to give you an example here. Let's see here, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to scroll down. In fact, oh, right here, judgment information, judgment type, possession judgment entered that's one for me now uh that's that's one for me you know that's the positive record there um as you can see there's plenty of things you can go through i'm not going to go through my entire record my record speaks for itself um my record speaks for itself and uh yeah and so does every other attorneys in the state of maryland as well so if you are um uh let's see what is there anything else i can show you here um, oh, you can also sort by, uh, you can also sort by court 
let's try this here. You can sort by court. So you can see where they primarily practice. You'll see for me, apparently, I'm uh, I'm I'm kind of all over Maryland. See, I'm in Annapolis there, you know, Baltimore City a, a little bit. I'm in I'm in Catonsville too, Glen Burnie. But you'll see that uh, I'm primarily in Prince George's County. So you'll see that I'm in Hydesville a lot. Um, yeah, it's look at these it's three, four. Yeah, this is, this is uh, okay. Hydesville a lot. I got like three pages of Hydesville, and then boom, now we're going in Montgomery County. Oh, Montgomery County Circuit Court. What up? Uh, you know, um, now I'm in Montgomery County, bit, you know, Prince George's County. But again, I primarily practice in Prince George's County, so that's where you'll see me. So you'll also be able to see where your um attorney attorney uh tends to um primarily practice by sorting by uh by court as well. I also like to sort by um uh filing if you want to get an idea of how long an attorney's been practicing, a good way to do that is to sort by the filing date. So um sort by filing date, and as you can see, the um uh, now uh, let's see, let's see. Now I definitely haven't been practicing since 2004. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I, I guess you want to be careful when you're sorting by filing date, because, um, the issue is, is that when you sort by, like I can enter my appearance into an old case. So, uh, it may look like, uh, I've been, I guess, it, it, so it's possible that, you know, it may look like I've been practicing longer than what I should have. So I've actually been practicing about, I want to say since about what, 2000, I want to say 2014. So it's about right. So you see, you see, you know, I get a bit active starting in 2014. I think that's when I started practicing. Um, but I definitely haven't practiced since 2004. But nevertheless, you can sort by filing date and try to, uh, you know, try to narrow it down to see, you know, when they've been practicing. Um, let's see when they started. So you get an idea of their experience. You can look at their results. And you can see, uh, uh, you know, exactly what your attorneys uh, attorneys actually do. That being said, there is one more thing that I should probably bring up. Uh, let's see. So if you're actually, um, let's say you're searching for a personal injury attorney. Uh, I guess the issue with that is that um, there's a lot of personal injury cases actually settle. So uh, you won't, which, you know, you'll see that there, there, there's been a settlement, but a lot of times there, you won't actually see the amount because the amount is actually, uh, the amount is actually private or um, it, it may be private or um, that, that may be part of the settlement terms. So, um, so, uh, but nevertheless, I still think using K search is a generally good way to get an idea to see how your attorney actually gets results, if your attorney actually gets results. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, take care.